Jesus, we have confidence in you. Jehovah, anywhere, anytime. We have confidence in you. Jehovah, Jehovah, we have confidence in you. Jesus. We have confidence in you. Jehovah, anywhere, anytime, we have confidence in you. Jehovah, Daddy, we have confidence in you. Jesus, we have confidence in you. Jehovah, Jehovah, we have confidence in you. Jesus, we have confidence in you. Jehovah, Jehovah Shammah, I see you everywhere. Blessed be Dima, your glory fills the earth. Everlasting Father, the one who watches me, I pour my confidence in you. Jehovah Shaman, Jehovah, Jehovah Shaman, I see you everywhere. Blessed be Imam. Your glory fills the earth, everlasting Father. The one who watches us, we put our confidence in you. Jehovah Shammah. Amen. Let us commit the forum into God's hand. Let us commit the forum into God's hand. Our Heavenly Father, we commit the forum into your hand. May you glorify your Son in our midst. May you show up in our midst than ever before. Take absolute control of this hour. With all humility, we have come before you, Father. Asking, have mercy on us as individuals. Take your place, Lord Jesus. Satisfy us with the precious blood of Jesus. Lead us in all truth. Glorify yourself in our ministry, Lord Jesus. During your earthly ministry, all that who are present, they were all healed during your earthly ministry. All that who are present were delivered and blessed. Give us the same grace today in the name of Jesus. Give us the same grace today. During your earthly ministry, blind eyes were opened, dead rose. Give us the same grace today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen. Well, we bless God for us who are present. It's a blessing, a privilege for us to be in the present presence of Most High God for counting us worthy of being present today. You can unmute and say oh, good morning to someone as we take a step to go forward. Praise God. Good morning, Sister Susanna, Sister Tina, good morning. Sister Adut, Mami Martha, Alweko, good morning, and those who are near where you are, good morning. Morning, Papa. Good morning, morning sisters. Good morning. Good morning, Mami Martha, Sister Ross, Sister Adut, Sister Susan, Baba, good morning. Good morning, children of God, good morning. Papa Ibrahim. 
morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, in your weekend, we can allow someone. Maybe somebody has a song that you want to sing before we look into our Bible. Most especially, it could be a blessing if you can hear from your mother tongue, your own language. Right. Before we look at the very important portion, something. Anyone? You feel in your heart you love to sing? Somebody say, okay, I don't see anybody. Okay, my mm -hmm. Kuana Damal Bita Yesua Hid Adi Shiluzalani Damal Bita Yesua Hid Damal Bita Yesu Asorana Abya Dani Zede Mavis Alleluia Damal Bita Yesu Awai Ali Silu Zalani Damal Bita Yesu Awai Ali Dava Gekiyati Damal Bita Yesu Awai Damal Bita Yesu Kasurana Dani Zede Mavis, Hallelujah, Damal Bita, Yesu Awai, Ana Kutugeli Bae, Damal Bita, Yesu Awai, Uwo wodi ana fok domal bita yesu awahi domal bita yesu kasurana abya tani zede Mavis, hallelujah, Damal Bita, Yesu Awahid, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I understand the song in English, but I'm feeling it. Mm. What a beautiful song. Thank God for you. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. We bless God for you. Anyone else would love to see me? Before we go, I will sing one more. Thank you. Hallelujah, 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 nina kuna. Hallelujah, 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 nina kuna. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, nina kuna. Hallelujah, 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 nina kuna. Hallelujah, ma baba yesu, hallelujah, nina kuna. Hallelujah, face my wife, hallelujah, nina kuna. Hallelujah, mama, like God, hallelujah, nina kuna. Hallelujah, wa hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, oh hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, shukuru yesua. Hallelujah, hallelujah, arfa masaya. Hallelujah, hallelujah, shukuru ya wea. Hallelujah, hallelujah, majidu ya weo. Hallelujah, hallelujah, bariku yesua. Hallelujah, 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 nina guna. Hallelujah, 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 nina guna. Hallelujah, 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 nina guna. Hallelujah, wa hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, my Baba Yeshua. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Mama like a toe. Hallelujah, hallelujah, face a Hallelujah, hallelujah, shukuru Yeshua. Hallelujah, Arfa Messiah for Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Majidu Yahweh. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Bariku Baba. Oh, Hallelujah, Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Majidu Yesu. Hallelujah, the song says we will sing Hallelujah, Hallelujah, with Baba Yesu in heaven. One day we will sing. With angels, we will sing. You and me, we will sing hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Yahweh. We will sing together up there one day. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much indeed. Hallelujah is the heavenly language. We bless God for you. Yeah, now we can quickly go to our Bible reading. I would love us to look at... Uh, Revelation chapter 4. Revelation chapter 4. If we have a volunteer, I don't know if my sister duties, you are ready? You help us to read in Arabic first, then we can take one in English. Praise I'm sorry, God. I cannot do that because I'm putting my son to bed because he has school tomorrow. If someone oh, else okay. can read today, it's okay. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Lord. Tina. Sister Tina, you are muted, please. Yeah, please, can I read? Yes, sis. Revelations chapter 4. Reading from verse one, I'm using the New King James Version. The sub subtitle is The Throne Room of Heaven. After these things, I looked and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me saying, come up here and I'll show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the spirit and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardius stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne, in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were 24 thrones, and on the thrones I saw 24 elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lighten, lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne, there was a sea of glass like crystal. And in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion. The second living creature was like, like a calf. The third living creature had a face like a man. And the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. 
These four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around within. Were full of eyes around and within, and they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they exist and were created. Amen. Amen. Wow. We bless God. Thank you so much. Wow. You can see that we are created to worship these 24 elders. That's what they do day and night. And those beasts. That's why you see worshiping and praising God is very important. It just shows what we are going to do in heaven. Well, if you would love to say something, we can start with you, sis. Today there are only 11 verses. There are only 11 verses. Yes, um, this one, it's, it's, I want to believe that the throne room of heaven is quite a spectacular place. Uh, it's a place with so much holiness and awesomeness and the glory of God, looking at how the place has been described. Even John says the voice uh, uh, that spoke to him as he stood and beheld at uh, the standing door that was open in heaven. It says the voice was like trumpet. Everything there is not ordinary. It's super, super spectacular and ordinary. So when he was taken in the spirit to the throne room, he sees that the one who is sitting on the throne he gives a vivid description that is like a Jasper and Sardius stone in appearance. Like personally, I lack, I lack words to describe these precious stones. It shows the glory, the, the indescribable glory, radiance and uh, splendor of the one who sits on the throne. And not just that he's surrounded by around the throne is rainbow that is in the appearance like an emerald all these uh, are very very precious uh, uh, jewels hallelujah and we all know when it rains and the sun comes out with god uh, uh, remembering his promise to us not to destroy the earth with floods again the rainbow appears it's very, very beautiful, beautiful. Fit. When the rainbow comes out clearly, it's so, so beautiful. And this is what surrounds the throne of the one who sits uh, 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 on high, who's, uh, uh, who has been described as Jasper uh, and Sadius. Like, like it's the real deal, if I should put it. And on top of that, these 24 elders, also they had their thrones. Around the throne were also 24 thrones. And on those thrones are seated the 24 elders. They are also clothed in white robes. They had their uh, uh, gold crowns on their heads. And I'm just imagining a super dazzling uh, a group of royalties in white globes uh, uh, robes beautified by the radiant glory of god sparkling and gold crowns and wow i wish 
even now if I could be there, but you know, yeah. And not just that, lightning, the Bible says from verse five, coming, proceeding, emanating, lightning, thunderous voices coming from this uh, 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 throne and the surrounding the surroundings of it. Then the seven lamps that uh, represent the uh, seven spirits of God are also there. It, it's a very, very beautiful scenario. I can't begin to imagine it in my mind's eye. And before the throne, there was a sea, like a, a, a glass of sea, clear like crystal, like what? Yo, I, I think, but, but heaven is so beautiful. Heaven is so beautiful and um, we must get there. I must get there. At all costs, I must get there. And there were also these uh, four living creatures full of eyes, front, back, inside, out, and yo. So if even the four living creatures had eyes all around, how much more the one who sits on the throne? Yo, God is... Yeah, God is too much. Then here it describes um, each of the appearance of these four living uh, uh, creatures. And this reminds me of this same vision that Ezekiel talks about. Maybe Baba will enlighten us more because I've been told that each of the four appearances of the faces of the creatures uh, uh, has a meaning or they symbolize something on the uh, nature or the character of God. Yeah. And they not just had eyes, they had six wings, which I, I think it's a bit scary, but they don't rest. They don't sleep. They don't, I don't know. They, they don't sit. They just day and night, the Bible says day and night. And we also know that heaven, and they say there is no night or day. So like, continuously they just sing this chorus holy 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 unto god almighty the one who was in this and is to come hallelujah yeah so this is just a very glamorous and vivid description of what goes on in heaven which we would all love i believe to be part of that is the little I can say. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't need to go back. Let us see. I know Sister did want to read in Arabic. Yeah, Papa, if there's no problem. Yeah, sure. Okay. Roya Diohana Lahuti, Asha Arba, Runwan Arshil Lazi Pisama. بعد هذا نظرت وإذا باب مفتوح في السماء وسمعت أول وسمعت أول صوت الذي ويت وسمعت صوت الذي سمعته سمعت قبوق يتكلم معي قائل أصعد إلى هنا فأريد ما لا بد أن أن يكون أن يصير بعد هذا الوقت صارت في سرت في الروح وإذا أرش موضوع في السماء وعلى أرش جالس كان جالس في منظر شبح حجر يشبه العقيق وقمص قفزه حول العرش في منظر شبح زمرق وحول العرش أربعة وعشرين عرش ورعيد على على العروش الأربعة وعشرين شيوخ يجلسون مستبدلين ثيابهم بيضة وعلى رؤوسهم إخليلا من ذهب ومن ومن العرش يخرج بروق ورعد وأصوات وأمام العرش سبعة مصابح ناريا متقدة وهي سبع أرواح الله وقدم وقدام العرش بحر زجاجا شبه 
البر وفي و... وفي وسط العرش حول العرش أربع حيوانات مملوءا عيونا من قدام ومن وراء والحيوان الأول شبه العسل والحيوان الثاني شبح العجل والحيوان الثالث له وجه مثل وجه الإنسان والحيوان الرابع شبح نزر الطائر والرابع الحيوان لكل واحد منهم سبع أجنحة وحولها من داخل مملوءا عيون ولا تزال نهارا وليلا قائلين قدوس 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 الرب الإله الغادر على كل شيء الذي كان والذي كان والذي يعطي حينما تعطي الحيوانات المجد والكرامة والشكر للجالس على العرش الحي إلى الأبد الآبدين البحر البحر يحير الرابع والعشرين الشيخ وخدام الجالسين على عرش ويسجدون للحي للأبد الآبدين ويطهرون إكليلهم أمام العرش قائلين أنت مستحق أيها الرب أن تأخذ المجد والإكرام والقدرة لأنك أنت خلقت كل الأشياء وهي إرادتك وكان وخلقتها I finished, brother. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now I want us to, to expand more. It's a blessing. Indeed, if we can only spend time thinking about heaven, I believe our commitment to things of God will be awesome. Heaven is what I want us to desire to be after here. Because here the Spirit of God give us the, the description of how heaven look like. My sister have said most of the things, but I just want to, because I went and tried to look at you to have some images to show. I said this as we go together, Somebody can write down for those who are just joining. Uh, Re Revelation chapter 4. For the sake of those who are just joining, say, after this I look, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was heard, as it were of a trumpet. Taking with me, which said, come up here. I will show these things which must be after. And immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. I want you to see something. He said he had a voice like a trumpet or a sound. He wanted to know what is, but the sound said to him, voice said to him, come. But immediately he was in the spirit, which means to have access to the things of the spirit, we must be in the spirit. I don't know how you get that. Because John explained, he said, immediately he was in the spirit. So, to be able to receive the things of the spirit, we have to be in the spirit. Because in the spirit, it is in the truth. Because God is spirit, and we look for those who worship him in the spirit and when we are in the flesh, we only fulfill the last of the flesh, but we cannot fulfill what the Spirit of God requires. All this envy, jealousy, fighting we have between among ourselves because we are in the flesh. I came to realize that the spirit man will not fight a spirit. If I am a spirit, I don't need to permit me if I use my sister Tina name. Why should I jealous Tina? Why should I say things like Because it's my sister in the spirit. But the flesh will always fight for the things of the flesh. Wants, power, fame. So, I have realized being in the flesh, it is what leads to chaos. Families, marriages, all of that. And because the spirit man will not easily 
will not even fight for anything. His focus is to please the spirit. And the flesh man is to fulfill the flesh, the last of the flesh. So here John explained that immediately he was in the spirit. So if you are in the spirit, that's where you can see God. In the flesh, you will not see him. For it's the spirit, you see, it's a spirit. He said, immediately the heaven the, he saw the thrones. And the throne there was a somebody sat on the throne. That is the explanation of John. He said to us, now hear what he described. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper. So I try to look for image of jasper. Let me see. God help me. Yeah. I tried to look for the image of Jasper. Let me see if I can show it here. So somebody can be of help. Can be help. That is Rim Lord. Um, just bear with me a minute. Praise God. So it's described in imagine, it's talking about precious stones. I'll try to share my screen. I see if I can show this thing. Bear with me a second. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of God's wonder. So if you can see, this is Jasper. Can somebody see? Please, if you see, say with me. Yes. Yeah, this is the Jasper. And this is the sudden in what he talks about. You can see how beautiful this kind of precious stone. I've never seen it physically, but by God's grace, I'll try to find out how I can see them. So the Bible says here that, and he that sat upon the look at, was to look upon like a jasper and sardine, so this is the sardian stone and this is the jasper. You can see how beautiful these two stones are. Praise God. Now, you can imagine how beautiful our papa is, if I should say so. Praise God. Because the Bible is describing him in a, set, in a way that I have never seen this manner of stone at all. Praise God. So you can imagine how Baba God is beautiful. Even though here, the whatever is trying to let us know how, how beautiful our Baba appear. Praise God. So I have never touched those two stones, but by God willing, I'll make sure I, I touch them and I see them. I believe you too. If we are still together by God's grace, I'll make sure that all of us, we have access to them. He went further and said, and there was a rainbow around about the throne. All of us, we know how the rainbow is. Around about the throne. There was in, in sight like unto an emerald. I think I have the stone here, the emerald. Let me see. Yeah, I have it here. Thank you, Jesus. I'll show you all this precious stone. Here, this stone. If you can see it, I don't know if you see it. Someone see it? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, he described all this we are talking about there, precious, let me say, precious stones. So it's something amazing, something wonderful, something that somebody would love to look at. And he went further and said, and around about the throne were four twenty-six, 
And upon the seat I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white, remnant, and they had on their head crowns of gold. So around the throne, he described there were 24 thrones. And on the throne, there were elders sitting upon them. Praise God. I was going to find out what elders. I know somebody may want to know who are these elders. But I have come to realize that the elders he meant, here I have them. As you know, when he was naming the Israelites, we start with God. I don't know if it can make it clear. We start with Judah, all the 12 tribes of, Jude, of Israel. You know them. Then the 12 apostles. If I can mention them, can anybody remember any of our apostles? Let me see. Thank you. Anyone? Baba? Yes? You said the names of the apostles. Yeah, the names of the apostles. We had 12. Peter, James, John, Philip, um, Thomas, Matthew, the, there is also Simeon, and the other James, Bartholomew, Judas, Oh, the rest. Yeah, someone could continue with the rest. <laughs> but they were you have done well. <laughs> Thank you. Peter, Andrew, James, Judah, John, I mean Philip, Bartimeo, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Apelephas, Tadeus, Matthias, and Simeon. Then the 12th tribe of Israel, we have Judah, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Neptali, Manasseh, Simeon, Levi. Anyone remember? Isaac, Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. So if you want to say something, Okay, Sister Tina, I want to say something. Yeah, I, I just wanted to ask a simple question. With the tribe of um, Israel, the, the leaders of Israel, why is it that we know that uh, ja uh, Jacob had 12 sons and Manasseh was one of the children of uh, Joseph? But most of the time when they talk of the tribe, the, the tribe of Israel, they include Manasseh. Why? Uh, like the sons, yeah, they include Manasseh. You remember when Jacob was about to die, he asked Joseph to bring his two sons to him. Okay, so if you want to say something before I answer. Yeah. Okay, when, because the Lord promised Jacob, he said, I will bless all your descendants. Then, when Jacob raised, raised in Egypt, when Jacob was about to die, they bring Manasseh and his brother. Then, he blessed them. He blessed, he blessed, but uh, he, he, if, he, he first lay his right hand on the youngest. Then, uh, Joseph, was angry. Then Joseph was said, "How come his father lay his hand on on the youngest? Yet, yet, yet he's supposed to lay his his hand on the firstborn son." Then he said, "No, son." He answered Joseph. He said, "I know why I'm doing like this. Ephraim also is going to become a big leader. All of them, the Lord will bless them equal." and they will draw bigger. Then Joseph was not happy because he wanted his father to lay his right hand on the firstborn. Then his father twist his hand because he was blind. But he replied, he said, I know what I'm doing, my son. That's what I can say. Thank you, God bless you all. 
Well, thank you so much, sister. Anyone else? Exactly. You know, when these two sons, Jacob told directly Joseph that these two sons are mine. <laughs> he called himself. So, you know, according to what I understand, when God loves you as sister, whatever decision you make, God will capitalize on it. God will make it, he will take it serious. That's why you see many a times we are told to prophesy. Sometimes when you are prophesying, God has not told us, but he just wait what we say, then we confirm it. So here, because just, uh, Jacob chose, took one of the son from one of the children from Joseph, he said, I adopt these two sons, this one is mine. That's why the child ended up being included. Just like the way you are there, you choose to adopt the child. In the case when they are sharing inheritance, that adopted child will be counted as yours. Do you agree with me, sis? Yes, Baba. Yeah. Even if you may have five children and you adopt one, this other one, they will not say, you, you are not our son, our brother. You don't need to take anything, share anything, of any inheritance. No. Nothing like that. So because the simple answer will say because Jacob adopted him. So he was accounted among the children of Israel. I think that is the best answer because he was adopted by Jacob. Yes, sister. Yeah, sorry, Baba, to ask again. Please. Ask. Uh, what Jacob did, I want to know, does it have, maybe have any bearing on what happened during his birth? What happened between him and his twin brother, Esau? Does it have any bearing? Actually, I will say this, when I look at Jacob's birth, it was God's plan. Because when the mother was pregnant, the Spirit of God spoke to, to Jacob. Ah, Selisha, she want to say something? No, no. Okay. Before Jacob was born, he was still in the mother womb. The Spirit of God spoke to the mother how the situation would be. That the young one, the elder one will serve the young one. So he came knowing that the young one will be master of the older one. So when I look at it, you can see it was automatic, meaning I do believe it's the Spirit of God was leading him to do that. Because when he was in the womb, the mother knowing, he knew very well, the mother knew very well that the younger will be the master of the older. And even when he came to these children, he decided to bless the young one more than the older one. So I do believe it's the Spirit of God who led him to do that. So it was just to fulfill what God started with him. It goes even to this where you see the last will be the last first. <laughs> and another way, in the real sense, it means the one who is humble will become great. That's why you see every man and woman of God you see God using mighty. They are very humble than those others. You get my point, sister? The one who is humble is the one who end up leading others. If you want, you have noticed. Yes, I don't I know if we, we are together. Yes, hey, I understand. You know, if, you look at, uh, if you look at it, it shows very well that the one who is humble is the one who end up being the head of others. Same to these things of God. The man who is very humble is the one God used mighty to do signs and one, the same woman. But those who pride, allow pride to enter them, this is where you hear miracle happen for a particular level, then after will disappear because pride have entered. So again, it only it shows our Christ. Jesus is the most, if I call him man, is the most humble, humble, 
humble person I've ever existed. You imagine being a king, you end up being a servant, a slave. He was demonstrating humility. So all that God was showing us that Christ will be the most despised, the one who considered, considered us the youngest. And he, you see, his humility have made, made him to receive this, the name which is above all other names. I think we are together now, sis. Yes, Baba, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Anyone else, as we continue, he said, the 24 elders, they sit on this throne and they hold their crowns. There is something awesome that happened and out of the throne proceed lightning and thunder. You can imagine. And voices and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne which are the seven spirit of God, of which we remember the seven spirit of God. I don't know if I have here the whatever. I would love to show things. Can somebody remember the seven spirit of God? Can somebody name them? Seven spirit of God. Can somebody name them? Yes, Baba. Yes. You name only three, then we... Okay, name them. It's okay, name them. Okay, in fact, I've gone to Isaiah chapter 11 to check. They are the from verse 2. Yeah. The, the spirit okay. of the Lord, the spirit mm -hmm. of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. And the spirit of the Lord, right? The second one. Yeah, the, the spirit of the fear you know, of the Lord. There's the spirit of fear of the Lord and the spirit of the, the spirit of the Lord. Yeah, that's the first one I mentioned. Okay, thank you. So those are the seven spirits. The Bible here describes that. There were lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirit of God. Earlier on, you remember the Bible told us that those burning, they're in his hand. <laughs> Praise God. You can see how beautiful this, how the scenario look like. He holds seven spirits. You continue and say, before the throne, there was a sea of glass. See us was a sea of glass like unto crystal and in the midst of the four in the midst of the throne around about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind praise god which i think we can see them in uh, thank you Jesus. isaiah 6 2. can somebody help me please Oh, teaching Bible is good. You are teaching and somebody is telling you what to do. You see how sweet is it? Eh? <laughs> My sisters. Serving Please. God is good. Isaiah chapter. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 6, chapter 6, verse 2. I'm saying, you see how serving God is good. I'm teaching, <laughs> but someone is telling me where, where to open. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I don't, all of you should become servants of God. It's so sweet. Imagine you are teaching, but somebody is telling you what to do. It's sweet. Love for Jesus. <laughs> That's why people wonder. You didn't go to school, but we sit and teach. <laughs> Love for Jesus. I'm busy teaching, and someone is telling me, <laughs> tell them to open Isaiah 6. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, read for us, please, sister. But I would love you to read from verse 1. There is something I want us to, to understand. Okay. Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. 2. 
Above it stood Seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two, he covered his face. With two, he covered his feet. And with two, he flew. Three, and one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out. And the house was filled with smoke. So I said, woe is me, for I am undone, because I'm a man of unclean yeah. lips. Amen, Amen, sister. Yeah. <laughs> you hear how the Bible is describing this therapy, the four beasts. That's why you see, I can tell you the truth. We can be here and talk freely. Why? Because God has deployed seraphim to take care of us. Otherwise, Satan would have smashed us a long time. The way you are seated, there is an angel behind you, but you don't know. That angel is the one that protects you. No matter how is it, sometimes you fail to pray, it's there. When they come, he stops them. That's why see, when I say thank you, let us thank you, Jesus, first for that. Imagine I'm seated here. There is a seraph standing behind me. Clap for you. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, the Bible describes that they have six wings and they have eyes inside and outside. I try to get the image of how it looks like, but... Okay, I'll get it, I'll show later on. So, just imagine, anyway, it needs God, because if you see this kind of thing, you will be scared. But I remember one day, when I was lying in the day, in the, when I was lying down, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw on my bed, one of the seraphim with a stretch arm. So this is what I want to assure you. You too, you are protected. This life we live, sometimes you don't pray. Sometimes, hey, this Satan will have smashed us, but there is a seraph behind you and I. We are always protected. More than even the president of America. <laughs> Love for Jesus. So the Bible described here that before the throne was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Our sister have described them how they are. They have six wings and they have eyes everywhere. That's why God can see us everywhere. Praise God. By the way, this, this great beast you see, heavenly being, even Satan himself, he cannot come near because them, they don't jump. The time before I came to come to know about them, Briefly, I'll say this. At that time, I don't remember, maybe like two or three years, there was a lot of attacks from every angle. I spent my time praying and fasting, crying. Then I remember on that day, I had Siraf. So I wake up and ask Siraf, I start searching the Bible. When I search them, I read about them. Then after a couple of weeks is when I see one of them stretch his hand behind the bed. Since then, I developed confidence knowing nothing. So I want to let you know that in Christ, God is so much concerned of you and I to see that he makes sure he takes us back to heaven. You know, we come from heaven. Here on earth, we just come to carry an assignment. 
So for that reason, God knows that you and I, we are weak. He knows that sometimes we fail. He knows that. So for that reason, the first thing you have assured, protection. No matter what you are suffering, sickness, hardship, whatever it may be, you are protected. That's why you see Satan, he try as he can to make us fall in a way with the hardship, you will focus on the problem, you forget what God is doing, and you start complaining so that you can have access when you complain and blame. Because when you focus on your problem, you will never see any good thing from God. But I want you to change your the way you see things from this day. Even if you don't have money or you are sick, you are protected. That's why you see you can be in a car. When you leave that car, you hear that, that very car you, you want you are in, it had an accident. That day you did not go job, you hear that something happened. Because you are protected. Whether you are sick, whether you are under medication, many are under medication like you, but ask them. They cannot even walk. They cannot even sleep. But you, you are under medication. You walk, you can eat, you can do what you want. I know some of you, you may say, I am poor. There are those who are poor more than you, or like you, the way you claim to be but they cannot even afford to have a meal. But because you are protected, no matter how poor you are, before the end of the day, there will be a glass of water on your table. No matter how trouble you are going through, you will still have a shelter that your head is under. Why? You are protected. No matter how poor you may be, but still you have something to put on. There is somebody who don't have even a cloth. No matter how you cry that I'm sick, there's somebody very wealthy. He's only hearing, but he's eating on oxygen. That is how he's hearing. Thank Jesus. I thank God for protecting you and I. That's why you see, we encounter challenges and struggles in life. Our enemy, Satan, uses men and women to frustrate our effort. They can only delay, but they can never stop the purpose of God in our life. I bless God that the more you are enemy, Satan, uses men to cause you pain, the more it provokes God to come in a greater way. I can't wait to see or to hear your testimonies. Remember that you are protected. As we continue listen, he went further and explained and the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast that has face as a man, and the fourth beast has like a flying eagle. I don't know how you can look at this kind of beast. Heavenly being, that's why you see wherever they appear, we always bow down and we are scared, but they always say, don't bow before me. I'm just a servant. There is something that, if I should say, and the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, Holy, God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. I want you to, see, to, to get to hear something, which means this beast. The assignment is to make that statement day and night. It is very important for you and us to know 
our assignment here on earth. You know, we are spirit, learning to live in the physical body on this earth, in this physical world. That's why you see, here on earth is not our home. We come from heaven, given an assignment of which part of our assignment is what we are doing at the moment. After we finish our assignment, we'll take the report back to who sent us, Jesus. That's why you see, say, he who overcome, I'll write on him my new name. So if we write on us a new name, imagine this name we know Jesus. It's, it's the name above all names. So we don't know what, what name we use. So if we understand we have an assignment here on earth to fulfill, it will remind us the kind of life we ought to live. What I'm doing, what you are doing at the moment is part of the assignment given to us by God. So this heavenly being, their work is to say day and night, they never stop saying, giving glory to God, say, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, which was and which is and who is to come, day and night. That is the assignment. We, God, have allowed us, we have very short time to praise him, to thank him, and we can do any other thing. We are enjoying. But this being, they do that day and night, meaning they don't do anything. That is what they do, day and night. And you and I, we are living life of complaint. When we only be in the church, if now we sit here two hours, Somebody said, ah, this boy, he keeps us a long time. But you hear this, eh, this being, day and night. That is the, it's the only thing they do, day and night. So if you are complaining about time, going to church, you have to stop. <laughs> Praise God. Listen, beloved. He's saying something. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who lives forever and ever, listen to what happened. The four and twenty-four elders fall down before the him that sat on the throne and worship him that live forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne. You hear that? That after this being, giving glory and honor to him who live forever. Then the 24 old elders cast down their throne. They bow before him. They bow. They throw their throne, cast them down. Day and night. That is their work assignment. But they never complain. But you, you even complain going to church. This pastor, when will he finish? <laughs> Praise God. You get my point. These 24 elders, that is what they do day and night. After the peace give the glory to Baba God, they come up of the throne, they bow before down before the throne and cast their crown. Day and night. There is a, a mystery behind this. If these four this and the four elders do this. It means there is something so powerful in honoring God. There is something powerful. The trouble and challenge we have as individuals, let us honor God in them. He will show himself mighty. I don't know if you get my point. If these four beasts this is what they do day and night, and the 24 elders, just to say, Father, you are holy, holy God Almighty. It means God created us human beings to give him glory, to worship him. That's why Satan knows 
that you and I, if we worship God with all our heart, he cannot come near us. So what he do? He distract us with the problem, challenges, hardship, circumstances. Because when you are troubled, you not have time even to thank God. Here the Bible says that these 24 elders give thanks to him. I pray we all spend time thanking him, giving him glory and honor. Praise God. I would love us to say this after I read the 22. After I read the, the 11, I think. Though art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor, and power for who has created all things, and for thy pleasure, they are all created. I want us to make this statement. Praise God. I, I want us to make this statement. Praise God. Oh. Praise God. I want Daniel. us to make this one. Daniel. Join me as we say this. I want us to say verse 8 where I say, Holy, holy Lord God Almighty, which was, who is, and who is to come. Can someone unmute? We are going to say that one first seven times. One, two, three. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God Almighty, Almighty, which was, which was and, is, and, and is, is to come. And is to come. Again. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God Almighty. Almighty. Which was, Which was and, and is, is and, is, and to is, come. is to come. Say again, please. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, Lord Almighty. God Almighty. Which was, Which was and, and, is, and is, is to come. And is to Say come. Say again. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God Almighty. Almighty. Which, Which was, was and, and is, is and is to come. Is to Say come. again. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, Lord Almighty, God Almighty, which was which and, is, was and, and is, is, to come. is to come. Say again. Holy, holy, holy Lord, holy, God holy, Almighty, Lord God Almighty, which was, which and was, is, and, is, and is, and is to come. Say again. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God Almighty, Almighty. which was, who is, and who is. is and is, is to, to come. come. Hallelujah. Say again. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which, which was, was and, and is, is to come. and is to come. Is to come. Amen. I would love us to say the last one. Do as worthy, we say again, do as worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are all who are created. Say it where you are. We say it again seven times. Six to go. Thou art worthy, you o Lord, to worthy, O Lord, Lord, to receive glory to and glory honor and, and power. How? For you for thou created, all, created things, all things, and by your and will for thy they faith, exist. And they were all created. and were created. Third, three. Do at worthy, you are worthy, O Lord, Lord, oh Lord to receive, no. to receive I glory and honor and power. And power so you for created you. all things, and okay, by your will they exist and were created. Created. Well, do at worthy, O oh Lord, you are worthy, O oh Lord, receive, to receive glory, to receive glory and, honor and honor and power. And power. For thou art created all things, and by your and will for thy they place exist they and were are created. Created. Five. 
Thou art worthy, O Lord, Lord, to receive glory glory, and honor and power. And power for thou hast created created all all things. And for thy pleasure. And by your will they exist and were created. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory. Worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor and glory, honor and power. For thou art created all all things. things, And for thy pleasure they are all and created. Amen. You can see, may God receive, accept this. Uh, You can see that God created all things and they were all created for his own pleasure and were created by him alone. Everything we see and that we cannot see, God created this for his own pleasure. You can ask, you mean how does Satan bring pleasure? Because he will destroy him. He has already judged him. <laughs> Praise God. I believe some would have been blessed. Ah, thank you, Jesus. I sense God's presence. Yeah. Praise God. Are we together, my sisters and brothers? Yeah. Yes, Baba. First, I would love Sister Tina to sing us like two songs first before we continue, if it is possible. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving. And honor, power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power, power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Power and might, power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor. Power and might belongs to a God forever and ever. Amen. Power and might belongs to a God forever and ever. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are, and will 
creator, thou art worthy, thou art worthy, O Lord, worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, for thou art created all things, and for thy pleasure they are, and were created, for thou art worthy, my Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, for thou art created, all things, and for thy pleasure they are, and well created. There is none holy as the Lord, there is none besides thee, neither is there anyone as a God. There is none holy as the Lord, there is none holy as a God. There is none besides thee, neither is there anyone as a God. There is none holy as the Lord, neither is there anyone as a God. There is none holy as the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Indeed, there is none holy as our God. We bless God. Thank you, sis. May God bless you. Well, you know, it is Sunday. I know some of you love to go to church. If there's someone want us to pray for, please help us. We pray for you. Uh, this is Mami Martha. Uh, greetings, church. Hallelujah. Good morning. Yeah, on the 22nd of this month, some going back in front of church, but we hold our hands, let God have mercy. Um, we believe that the last time we say he's coming out, we believe that he's coming out. On the 22nd of this month, after one week maybe, something like or six days, yeah. Oh, you are saying on 22nd you are going to the court? Sam, my son. Yeah. Sorry? It's, yeah, he's going back, they're taking him to, to the court again from jail, but God's going to have favor. He's coming out. Oh, yeah. We God did a miracle. He was in a jail. He's a very good engineer. Then they say, you're too smart. What kind of stuff you want to do more than this thing you're doing now? He said, computer. They take him from that place to another place. He's a jail, but school, more education, favor of God. Now, this time, oh, yeah. not, uh, to school in the jail, out from there, somewhere else, God taking him. He's now with yeah. him. Have you finished all this? Bible, all the time, preaching, singing. I said, do it if you will get up. Angel going to visit you. Have you finished the school in the jail? No, he finished school out here. Well, he was working here very good, engineer. But, but I understand the jail is starting, right? Uh, uh, he said that he want to do more computer. Uh, uh, you know, he's not good at it, at, uh, good at it more education, then they took him somewhere from that place. Now they're taking him back then on the 22nd, they're gonna take him to the court again. 
uh, but we ask God mercy, you're going to get out from there. Amen. It's yeah, it's a good wife. With you. Mm. His wife put him there so he can go marry another man, but our God is a good God. <laughs> the devil play games too well. much, but our master Jesus has ah, his power more than that. Amen. Amen. Okay, sister, we'll pray for him. 22, hey, 22 is a good number. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, sister, good? Good morning, my brother. Good morning. Um, my, uh, I have a prayer request. I want you to pray for um this guy. He's in hospital. I will send his photo later on into the group. Um, his name is Deng. So I want you to pray for him. He's very ill. Mm, that's the prayer request I have for things. What is he suffering from? They haven't mentioned what is his problem, but he's um. He's not getting out of the of, on the bed and he's very suffering. So they haven't mentioned what is his uh, problem is. He's an um, an old guy even, but they haven't said what is his illness. He doesn't. He's he can't get up from the bed. He's in hospital. Um, his name is Dan. Yeah. Let us pray for these two first, then we'll hear our sister. Oh, God, do it again. Do it again in our life. Open our eyes to see. On the throne, Holy Ghost, do it again, do it again in our life. Open our eyes to see, see the Open our eyes to see, see the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we bring them into your hands, O God. You know his situation, you know the cause. All we ask is for your mercy and for your mercy. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on them. Have mercy. Whatever you may have done, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Then, wherever you are, I call your name in the name of Jesus. Whatever wrong you may have done, knowing and knowing, be forgiven in the name of Jesus. That spirit that have kept you in that trouble situation, that have kept you on a city bed, that is not where you belong. You and a clean spirit, in the name of Jesus, and the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command you right now, out of his kidney, out of his lips, out of his bone, out of his entire system, out now. You that have made him cannot even explain. Wherever you are, your time has expired in the life of them. In the name of Jesus, out you demon, 
are out in the name of Jesus. Jesus asked the man, do you want to be healed? He said, I have no one. I command in the name of Jesus, then wherever you are, rise now from that sick bed and carry your bed and go home. I command you, rise now, carry your belongings and leave in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Our brother that is coming to the court, Father, I commit him into your hands, asking for your mercy. Let your mercy speak for him. In the eyes of the judge, everyone involved in this case, let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak for him. You are a God of miracle. Do a miracle today on 22nd. I speak in his life. Favor. Favor in the name of Jesus. Whatever want to keep him in prison, I disconnect it from him. That barrier be removed. That Jesus. obstacle be removed. Those chains be broken now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Be released. Paul and Sila were in prison. Oh. As the church were in consistent playing for them, oh. they were visited by the angel. May that angel visit him, oh. that we see him and hear him. Now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The heart of the judge and whoever involved is the hand of God. I announce freedom. For all son set free is free indeed. You are released. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. We wait to hear, to see him, to hear him. We bring him, we see, we celebrate with him. Thank you, Jesus. We wait and do to hear from you concerning our brother again, because that sick bed is not where I belong. And we wait to hear our mommy, mother, and the son of the son of the soldier. So that we can celebrate together. Sister Susanna. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, I just want to say thank you, Tadu, for giving prayer requests for my kids last time and yesterday. But we didn't do the oppression today, we do it on Tuesday. And we thank God for that. Because the nurse didn't come today. So I need prayer for, for my sister-in-law. Her daughter left the house. She said that she doesn't want mother anymore. And she's 14 years old. For two days. And then today she called. And then she said she's living with her auntie, sister of her father. And I need prayer for that so she can come back home. Her mother, she's so broke down. So she's crying. And then she said that I did this, I did this. And then at the end, she just said that she doesn't want me because I've been telling her, wash the dishes, clean the floor. That's why she left the house. And yeah. I want prayer too for, for my brothers. They went to village for my uncle daughter wedding. I want protection for them. May God protect them there, bring them safe to, to the town. Amen. Yeah, we are going to pray for that girl, but I request, try to reach out to the girl to hear why she left. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, it's better you know, you hear from her herself, because she will be telling you the truth. You know very I, well. <clears throat> because they've, they've been going on for the while that they're fighting today, tomorrow, and this. They did a couple of meetings in the school. Even in the school, she's not she's not good in the school. And then the last day before holiday, before two days ago, the teacher said that she doesn't want her anymore in the school because she doesn't listen. They did meeting with her mother. And then the next day, she left the house. 
And then I said the mother maybe. I asked. Yeah. She, she left the house of her mother. Sorry? She left her mother's house. Yeah, she's in her auntie house now. She left her mother's house. Yes. Oh, okay. Let us pray she go back home. Amen. Amen. I understand. Because if it's her mother, she has to go back. <laughs> Amen. She's in her auntie house here. Yeah. yeah, we just rebuke that spirit. Amen. You know, when she's just 14, she thinks everything is easy. She wants to do what she's in the world. She was a very good girl, because I don't know. And now she become like, she using Snapchat, she using those TikTok, she's swearing on people and those things. She's been changing a lot. I yeah, don't know yeah. what happened to her, but before she was so good. Yeah, it's a spirit. When a spirit enter a girl, you know, you, you are a woman. It's yeah. even a married woman. If a married woman, you may be a very good wife to your husband. When you start meeting somebody telling you you are beautiful, many a times women start misbehaving to their husband. <laughs> so that's how children also are. Everybody's telling her on the line, you are beautiful. We cast that spirit out and she come to order. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Um, we stretch and, our uh, hand with prayer power. for I need prayer to, for my six years old. He cannot let his brother, he doesn't like to sleep by himself. He even if the bed is small, like what he has to sleep with his brother and he's bothering him at night. He can't let, he doesn't let him to sleep. Like he has to wake him up. He has to, to remove the hair from his eye, the allergies at night. He take them out all. Oh. And then this one keep crying, mommy, he took my hair out of my eye and what, what. And then when we ask him, why are you doing this? He said, I don't know. And he doesn't sleep. He doesn't allow his brother to sleep. Mm. He just loves his brother. I don't know Let what kind of that. thing is that. <laughs> no, he just loves his brother, but let us pray because the brother feels disturbed. <laughs> Mm. He just loves his brother. He loves to be with his brother, but he loves to disturb the brother. Let us pray. Mm. Mm. And you know what makes him so hard when he sees the brother crying? You know, when you're, you're young, you're making the big one to cry, you feel good. No, no, no. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> yeah, that's how children are. If a young one makes a bigger one cry, you feel good. It's a superpower. <laughs> when at two o'clock? Yeah, children, you know, children. children are always children. Amen. Okay, let us pray for them. Amen. Children are always children. If you want to know he loves his brother, try to do anything to his brother you see. He will hate you. I know he's fighting with me always when I hate his brother. Hey, he loves his brother more than anybody else in that house. Amen. Yeah, but let us pray so that they can understand each other. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring these two brothers into your hand. It is good when brothers love each other, but we speak order. If there is any familiar spirit, strange spirit operating in them, be cast out of these two children. Out completely. Out. That funny behavior, no more in the name of Jesus. If they need to sleep separate this very day, they will sleep separate. That which causes fear in the young one, fear is from Satan. I cast you out of this child. I command order between them in Jesus' name. No more making other cry. They will live in peace and harmony in Jesus' name. We bring this our little sister, wherever and whatever accusing her mother, whether true or wrong, the Bible says, Pay children obey your parents. There is no other person who can ever treat her well more than her mother. That spirit, wherever it is, in the life of this girl, night, right now, out of his heart, her heart, that pride. Wherever you are, demon, 
out, out, whether you enter the heart through internet. Want to lead us astray. May the Lord rebuke you and clean his spirit. May the Lord rebuke you. I put a restraining order to command this child to carry a baggage and come back in a mother's house. I even use spirit that make her not to do well in class to bring frustration. I cast you out. I command her to focus. Wisdom come from the Lord. I speak wisdom upon her. From this very day, she will study and understand. She will concentrate and she will listen to her parents. She will feel the love of a mother. Let there be peace between them. Let there be forgiveness now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. She's coming back home. Wait to hear from you. Come back and she will do well in class. Amen. Amen. Sister Sophie, I'm the little one, they will sleep well. We wait to hear from you. Today is okay. We wait to hear from you. Observe them today and tomorrow. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sister Sophie, Thank please. You. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Good Sophie. Good morning. I need a prayer for myself. Um, a person I asked my bosses that I want to go back to Uganda, saying it's not going well here. I'm someone who does not answer people, even though young or big or old. What I do, I just keep silent because I pray all the time. I said, God, let me be like you. I don't want to answer anyone. I really keep quiet. This has become beyond human dignity. My boss can start quarreling. If she starts quarreling, she can set you out of the house. She locks the door. She do it now. And today, it's yesterday even. She did the same. I told God, I said, God, is it the right time for me to go back at home? Let them give me my money, I go. They don't want to give me money, Baba Ibrahim. I just keep quiet. Now, yesterday, we went to the sister. That was the worst. I did not even say a single word. I just put right ear and left ear. I listen and I keep quiet. I went to the sister. I do all the work. She quarreled and still she reached to the sister home. We came back, she did the same thing. She locks the door, she just sends me out of the house. I said, God, I will not tell your servant. I have to pray, I have to stand strong. I know this is temptation. If they don't want to pay me, let them give me my passport. And I go, let them send me back to my country. I work for this money. I don't even, I don't answer them. I am someone who does not reply anyone, even if people abuse me. I just ignore and keep quiet and I pray for them. I said, God bless them, bless them. I don't get it and I don't understand. I don't understand it. Even I don't want to tell anyone. I don't want to tell even my mom to know because I don't want to break anyone's heart. This is between me and God. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I work for this money and they overwork me. I don't complain. I pray God, let them pay me, I go away. Now it's like I'm bringing big trouble in this family. I don't know what to do. I said, God, please do for me something. Let me go back. Yes. Yeah, if you want to go home, they will give you your passport and your money and you go back. You don't need to cry. They don't want to give me. Just say amen. I pray for you. Don't give your passport. They give you your money and you go back home. So when you ask, you just tell them, I want to go back. I will come back. So they will give you. But if you show you are going and you want to come in, just say, I want to go home so that I see my people and come back. They will give you money and you go. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring her before you. I pray you touch the heart of this woman and the husband to give what is required to her so that she can live and go back home as she wants. Father, if this be your will, let your glory be revealed in Sophie's life. I touch their heart, 
whatever it is that makes them to close the door, I rebuke the spirit. You are God who answer, will never hear Sophie crying for such, such a thing again. Thank you because it is done. In Jesus' name, amen. They will give you, just speak. They will talk to you, then you speak nicely. Tell them I want to go and come back. They will give you what is required and you go. Praise God. Salacious brother, Udu. Yeah. I have the same problem. I have my, my daughter. She doesn't listen to them to her mom, but when I talk, she listens. So she is causing problem to mom. Even at school, when she goes, she's stubborn. She doesn't listen to the teacher. I don't know what has come over her. It is only me that she can listen to. So I need prayer, whatever spirit that is in, in her to be cast out. Yeah, where is she, you, the mother and the daughter? In Uganda? No, in the US. Eh? In the US. They are also in US? Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, we thank God at least she can listen to you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, have a, yeah. I have a testimony. Uh, last week, uh i was because a big uh iron was gonna crush my 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 feet uh, my, my, my foot but the way it missed my foot i don't know otherwise it was gonna break my 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 uh gonna break my foot so it came to my mind it, it was just my it was just my uh it was just the holy spirit that helped me my my angel was with me if, when I was working with, didn't believe. He just looked at me and then shook his head. And then uh, uh, Maureen, uh, if Pastor Effie would allow, uh, the situation you are in, as the pastor say, we, we, we will always keep you in our prayer and may you come out of the situation safely by God's grace. Uh, I stayed in the, in the Middle East for, for some years. These people are bad. If there is a way for you where you can go to an embassy or somebody can make a contact with the embassy, you can find a way to escape. You better escape. Don't worry about the money or even the passport. If you can find your way out, your, your life is more precious than whatever everything you have been working for. That is my advice to you. But as pastor say, we are going to pray for you. We'll, we'll put you in our prayer. Thank you. Yeah, we'll pray. Okay, we pray for your daughter. Father, we bring this daughter into hand, using her as a point of contact with many of our children outside there. The spirit of disobedience entering children as the result of what they see on the media. You and a clean spirit operating in children. Your time has expired. Out, you demon. That make them to think they are grown up. They can do things by themselves. You devil. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out of this child. Out you and a clean spirit. Never you return. I decree her free. I declare her free. In Jesus' name. Amen. She's in order. We will observe her. You will see she will start respecting her mother. <laughs> Amen. Something I've left her. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for you. know God protects us. That's why it's good to say thank you. Because many things, that's what I was saying. The protection you and I will have, Satan will have smashed us a long time. But because of those 
heavenly being have been assigned concerning us that we are yourself. Yeah, we want to hear from this uh, brother concerning your daughter, just like our sister. Praise God. Amen. Sister Irene, mean, please. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, I have a prayer request. Number one, for myself, I remember some few weeks ago, Mami, Mami Mata was uh, asking for a prayer request about like her fingers or something getting numb. So I was, I didn't, uh, somebody else also was telling me about it. Yesterday, one of my friends also was telling me about it. Then tonight, when I woke up in the morning, I felt my fingers, like both fingers and the toes were like really numb or whatever. So I don't know if it's psychological, if it's sickness. I just want God to take to take care of it and take it away. I don't want I don't want no new sickness. Then the second prayer request, we have new people at my house who moved in, then new young girls like twins and stuff. But they seem to be like maybe smoking, doing drugs or whatever. But for the for some reason, they realize like my daughter is so humble, quiet, is the first person. Like they wanna, they want to be friend. And for me, I can be strong to tell somebody no, you know, like, oh, I don't want anybody in my house, but they'll come like knock on the door so that like they can sit with, uh, hang out with Ashley, then I have to be, I'm, I'll be the one to like stand up and say, no, I don't, I don't want her to have any friends, uh, which is not supposed to be that way. But sometimes, you know, I just want like a prayer over them because they've already started like um, celebrating Halloween and I just feel like they're not really good people at all. So I just want a prayer over it so that I don't have no problems with them. Also, they cannot have no problem with me. You know, thank you. That's all. Amen. You stretch your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are going to hear the cry of your sister. Whatever she described happening to her as a hand, anything that is not of you in any way form, in our system, whatever it is, we command it out, out completely with this symptom. If there is anything trying to devolve in her, I command you to dry up. Any poison, wherever it's located in you, that poison, out completely. Out you dream. Out whether it entered through dream or in any way. Out. 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 Out in the name of Jesus. Out wherever it is. You poison. Out. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. You are free. It is well with you. Concerning Ashley and the new people, Lord, you have the reason why they came. It is you who controls the heart of men and women. If it's your will for them to be close to them, thank you. But if it's not your will, be an obstacle between them. For darkness and light has nothing in common. Wherever it is the light that operates in Irene and the daughter, let that light cause the darkness in these two people disappear. Any strange spirit of addiction, sometimes you may be brought them so that they know what Christ is. I speak in the spirit inside them, that of bad behavior. Wherever it is, Jesus loves sinners, but he do not like sin. 
every root of darkness in them. Vanish any strange spirit operating in them. Vanish as soon as they come to Asher. Let there be power of God that make every demon to burn. I speak the anointing of God that breaks the yoke to be upon Ashre and in that house. As soon as they come, if there is anything that is not of God, will I command it out in the name of Jesus. I know many get addicted as a reason of frustration and whatever. I rebuke every spirit operating in them. I introduce Jesus to them. As they continue to come, I speak order. Whether they accept Christ or not, if they accept Christ, the friendship continues. But if they do not, that spirit in them, fire in Jesus' name. I introduce Jesus to them. And let there be peace and understanding to your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. It is done, sis. Don't worry about them. If God don't want them to associate with your daughter, your daughter should stand firm and say no. Even themselves, they will just cut connection. But if they happen to come near you, try to tell them about Jesus. If they want Jesus, they will continue coming in your house. But if they don't want Jesus, they will run away from your house and away from your daughter. I hope you heard me, Sister Irene. Yeah, yes, Baba. You know, this one we preached, we prayed even together. We told them even about our church. Uh, these ones, they don't want Jesus or they already know they are like on the top. They know, they know, they know too much. But we told them about yeah, the church yeah. and even, yeah, we gave them the web, uh, our whatever to join. Yeah. They are white people. Uh, Mexican American. Yeah. Don't worry. You, you know, if you tell somebody today, you continue when you when it become your song, they will find their place. Yeah, because sometimes God may bring them to you through that. They may find out the truth. All we pray that you stand firm, because we don't know why God brought them together. Praise God. You may find that when they come in your house, there is a peace they find more than being in their house. That is also there. I just believe that they cannot overcome your child. Yeah. You know, sometimes people, you may think they are because of what they say or what they experience. In your house, what you do, you know what you do. You have a good screen. The kind of things you play on the screen of 24-7, it will either allow them to continue to stay in your house or to go. So, you are in our prayer. They will, they will, they will, they, they will bow. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. God have a reason why. You know very well, God have revealed to you people who are going to come in this forum. The black people, when I saw, they were very few. They are white people. So, and don't think these white people are coming as pastors. No. They are drunk as murderers, witches, and wizards to be delivered and join the forum. When God revealed to me, I see black people, they are just counted. I, was see, I see myself standing in the midst of white people. I'm looking for black people. <laughs> so, I hope you understand my message. Yes. Yeah, so don't think that somebody will come as a pastor. No, these are people who are thieves, murderers. What, what, those are the kind. But the kind of reception patience you have with them. What you have to do is that by God's grace, wherever they come, try to persuade them that you can say a prayer. That prayer you say, it. People you see, they don't have peace. That's why you see they are smoking. When you see a woman smoking, you know that is yeah, having a problem. <laughs> you have a problem that is not talking. You get my sister? When you see a woman smoking, it is a problem trying to hide the problem in smoking. <laughs> hey, this is a woman busy smoking, drinking 24-7. It's frustration and disappointment making them to smoke, to forget what they are going through. So when you see God bringing such people, there is a reason. Don't worry. 
we are praying with you because you will meet many kind of people. Even you yourself, God shows you, there are Mexicans, Americans, Indian, European, so you understand. So even when I wanted to pray, God, you, God, you asked me, you want to chase me from bringing? <laughs> Let your hand we pray for each other. Praise God, sisters. Amen. I think you get my point, sister. <coughs> you quote my words, you will see this forum. Black people will be very, very few. It's full of white people. So you are there, you are here, you are blessed. Sister Wilma, before we pray and go. Amen. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Yeah, Since I went to my he is. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. No, continue, sister. <laughs> my network is going is just up and down, brother and sister. If I'm not on the line, may God bless you all. Uh, Amen. Too. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, um, Brother Abraham, um, just uh, pray for, like, especially the next month, like, uh, Sister Irene said, because here people celebrate Halloween. And, you know, because we know this kind of celebration, sometimes it brings, because people, you know, I'm not really, you know, fan of that, because I believe we're not sub supposed to celebrate the dead, but also like Irene said, like there's people that uh, just move just next to our our place. They've already put in the decoration, like everywhere. This, you know, when the moment we are coming out, you can see all this decoration. So, but I know that my family is being covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, but let's just pray for the month of, of October that's most like now in the stores, you will find all these uh, sweets with the Halloween, you know, Halloween sweets and, uh, and the costumes that they wear. Even the other day we went to the store, my daughter was like pointing at the costume she wanted, she's for. Because the other ones, they know really we don't buy those, you know, costumes. But the other day I took her, the four year old to the store. She was like, mom, can I get a costume? And then I was just like, no, you know, we, we start going to another place. So especially this is the spirit that, the, you know, a lot of satanic spirit will be coming out to attack people. There's, you know, everyone, especially in our, you know, like the kids grown up, let's pray for them. And also last night, I don't know why this dream took me. It took me like in Uganda. And it said that I have like almost five boys and those are not my kids. I have one of my son, but there is kids from my church, our community church. And this boy, they showed these boys in the car with me and a couple of people from my community. And they showed me like uh, in Uganda, there is like, you know, you know, like a war, like somewhere people are running and I miss these kids. And then when I miss the kids, I think the guy, whoever was, you know, violently people were running from him, you know, I'm trying to look for located kids, but I could not find them. And my word is like, those are not my kids. Oh, my. We bless your name, almighty God. Continue, sister. Yeah, the devil is a liar. He's trying to lock me out. So, yeah, it saw me like we are really struggling. I, I was really struggling to keep these kids together. And whenever I get in the car, and the moment this person is like hijacker, enter the car and decide to want to drive these kids. So it will just look like Uganda, like Kampala area, because, yeah, I've been there. So let's pray. I don't know what is the dream meaning. Is it, you know, spiritually? I don't know. But just, uh, I was so worried last night in the dream, you know, regarding all this thing going because uh, there's other people's kids 
and even ourselves is in danger. People are running for their life. You know, people are trying to hide. And the other kid, I saw him start vomiting. So let's just pray general, you know, for protection, especially for young people. And thank you. God bless you all. Amen. We stretch our hand. Just I request you be wise. You don't engage yourself as you know. Because like here, now if you come to Asia, you will be surprised. Every house there is idol. Sacrifices are being done. Being done. But if God preserve us here, he will still preserve you people wherever you are. We pray against what they want to do to launch in that month is to invoke spirits. They will have nothing to do with us. God will preserve us. In the name of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost, we commit our children and ourselves into God's hand. Right from this very hour, whatever strategy that enemy want to use or is using, invoking spirit in any form, I announce to them Greater is he that lives in us than the one in the world. For we have understood today that all things were created for him and by him alone. Satan and his dominion, they are under his feet. In the name of Jesus, I remind you, Satan, you have been condemned. You have been judged. Wherever you were manipulating life, Lose your grip. Whatever spirit from the sea or whatever it may be, to manipulate destiny, fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic assignment concerning the world, you can't. Whatever assignment of demon in the coming months, you can't. Whatever life and bloodshed they want to shed, fire in the name of Jesus. Whatever they are planned to kill people slowly, it will not stand. Wherever you are, demon, in the life of our children, leave them. These children are for Jesus. Whatever you may have used, connect them. I break the contact. I connect our children and our life into the hands of God. We are unchanging because Christ reigns in us. O oh Lord, arise in this life and take on suit control. Concerning your family and the dream, every part of it I cancel. Whatever want to put you in a state where you can, you want to help and you cannot help, that demon assign fire in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hand upon the family, wave and wind that want to rise in your family. I command order. As God has given you gift of taking children of people's care of them, I speak provision door open for you that you never see it as a problem, but you see it as assignment because you never lack of pay but you always have plenty to share. I speak a blessing upon you and protection. Wherever those children are that are waiting for your help, I send an angel of help upon them. Where our help comes from, come from the Lord. May they receive the help in Jesus' name. Well, stretch your hands all. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit your people. I ask for your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In this critical time, open doors in their life, establish your will and purpose in their life. Concerning their prayer life, revive their situation. Make there be a connection between you and them. Father, it is my prayer that, O oh God, help us all to overcome that we may receive our reward. In this time, O oh Lord, I pray you strengthen your children. Come in their situation as they call you, may you answer. Be the answer to every problem. In the name of Jesus, I speak you be heard, not the tail in the name of Jesus. You will not beg or lack, but you will always have plenty to share in the name of Jesus. I speak in the life in your life, every situation troubling you cease. Every wind and wave, I command calmness. Whatever you may have eaten from the table of your enemy through dream or physical, the way they have used to demonize you, out, be flushed out of your system. That which you feel pain that you cannot describe, 
out in the name of Jesus. People around you and far, even those on the internet, under the influence of this voice, whatever is troubling you, see it. Everything that has a beginning has an end. I command end to every struggle, end to every sorrow, in the name of Jesus. Every mountain between you and God's blessing crumble in the name of Jesus. Every obstacle to God's will in your life be removed. Whatever spirit causes discouragement, weakness, be cast out in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of stagnation, I break the spirit. I speak a way out for you as come. I bless the work of your hand as you go. May the light of the Lord lead you as you, wherever you are, experience the light. Anywhere there is darkness, I speak the light of God to shine, now and forever. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and amen. Praise God. We thank God for you all. What a wonderful time we have had.